In this lesson, we're going to look at mirroring objects in your drawing. Before we get started, let's make sure that Polar, Entity Snap, Snap Tracking, and Dynamic Input are all turned on. Moving back to the drawing, we're going to zoom in to this door and we can see that the swing is in the wrong direction. So using the mirror command, I'll select the door and then choose a midpoint, moving out to the right and choose the option to delete the source entities. Then just as easy as that, the door is flipped. Using the quad to repeat the mirror command, this time I'm going to select both doors and define my mirror line by selecting the quadrant of the arc and dragging down the hallway. And here we can see the two doors are then mirrored. The next step is to mirror all of the entities and walls within this space. So again, repeating the mirror command, this time using a crossing window, I'm going to select those walls. And I'll point out that the red line is indeed on a locked layer. So we don't have to worry about that being mirrored. And then I'll define again my mirror line by selecting two points, pressing enter, and the original source geometry is maintained. Let's repeat the process, this time choosing the previous entities that were selected, along with another crossing window, pressing enter, and then repositioning the screen, we can select another location, define the mirror line, drag downward, and the new geometry is created. This completes the lesson on mirroring objects with BricksCAD. Thank <laughs> you.